What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're talking about the PlayStation 4 Pro. Something I'm actually pretty excited about. I'm not as excited about this thing as I am the PlayStation VR because that's right here. It's right now. But the PlayStation 4 Pro does have very, very exciting uh, implications. I think that the possibility of playing games in greater graphical fidelity is always something that gamers look forward to. And of course, more power. Now, am I more excited for this than I am the Xbox Scorpio right now? Hmm, I don't know because I haven't seen anything about the Xbox Scorpio. It's all conjecture and everybody's speculating. But the PlayStation 4 Pro is virtually days away. So it's right here. It's on the cusp of being a reality. And one of the big questions that a lot of gamers have been wondering about the PlayStation 4 Pro is whether or not that one terabyte hard drive that comes in it is actually interchangeable. Are you going to be able to increase your hard drive? Are you going to be able to use possibly an SSD? And apparently, yes, you will. I'll drop a link in the description. SSD for PS4 Pro. Yes, you'll be able to replace your PlayStation 4 Pro's hard drive. PlayStation 4 Pro, Sony's mid-generation upgrade, was announced less than a month ago, and Sony officially tackled two of the most repeated questions pertaining to this console. Taking a leaf out of the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 playbook, Sony allows its users to replace the internal hard drive of the PS4 Pro, should they choose to. GameSpot reports that the PS4 Pro makes use of a SATA 3 interface, meaning that solid-state drives are supported by Sony's console. Users who choose to use a solid-state drive over a traditional hard drive for the PS4 can look forward to seeing speeds ramp up to 6 gigabits per second. To put it into perspective, the first PS4 model featured a SATA 2 interface, meaning that the fastest speed it could aspire to was 3 gigabits per second. Not all console manufacturers see a value in allowing users to replace the internals of their hardware. Sony's competition, namely Microsoft and Nintendo, both will not allow the hard drive of the Xbox One and Nintendo Wii U to be removed or replaced. However, it should be mentioned that the Xbox One and Nintendo's Wii U allows users to dial up their storage space in the consoles via external hard drives. The PS4 Pro will be available on November 10th, and Sony puts its price tag at $400 for the new console. The device comes with a hefty 1TB hard drive, but no 4K Blu-ray player will be present. Sony argues that the future belongs with streaming, and as such, it is trying to tone down the physical discs. Sony is not the only company that believes this to be true. Eve Gilmont, co-founder and CEO of Ubisoft, said earlier this year that the days of discs are numbered and streaming will become the future-proof option. It might take a bit of time, though. Quote, we think it's going to grow, but today, with the types of games we have, it will still take a bit of time to be more popular, end quote. Well, this is always great. I, I think it's great to have more options. My PlayStation 4 and my wife's PS4 do not have the traditional 500 gigabyte hard drives in them because they're just not big enough. They're not, they're, they're, they don't have enough space. It just, it's ridiculous. A 500 gigabyte hard drive will be filled up in less than two months. I mean, and that's just, if you play games, that's the way it is. We both have two terabytes in our PS4s and those are filled. So, I mean, a one terabyte for a PS4 Pro is kind of ridiculous in my opinion because in my opinion, the Pro is going to have greater graphical fidelity, enhanced textures, and all kinds of different stuff that's going to be actually weighing down that download. It's going to be a lot more, it's going to be a heavier download for sure. And so I think that the option to upgrade and even use an SSD is going to make it twice as fast. Man, that's going to kill load times and make your gameplay experience all the more better. Of course, SSDs cost a shit ton of money. They're going to cost quite a bit if you're really into that. Uh, but if you buy it and you install it, you'll never have to worry about replacing it. No moving parts and they work flawlessly and it's great. Uh, and I'm thinking if I do go that direction, it's going to have to at least be two terabytes. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro is it something you're interested in. And if you do buy it, are you looking forward to upgrading your hard drive? What's the perfect hard drive for you? What do you think is the best size to install in your PlayStation 4 Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and go to BeastlyGamer.com to stay up to date with the Beast. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, call. Hey, call.